Hi everyone! I'm here to tell you about the project that I'm working on. We discussed it a little bit in class, but just for a refresher, I'm trying to use NetLogo to create a simulation of consumers shopping at grocery stores or at farm stands. The idea is that I want to create a simulation that shows a number of farm stands or a, a scattering of farm stands around the community that would lead consumers to purchase more food from their neighbors, from their local farmers, rather than going through a grocery store, getting food that's coming from further away, contains pesticides, maybe isn't responsibly produced, and doesn't necessarily contribute to the local economy. So I'm part of the way through programming uh, this version of the NetLogo simulation, but I have a few snags and a lot of work still left to do. So let me show you what I started with. NetLogo comes with this program, Paths, and at the beginning, when you set it up, Paths randomly places turtles across the screen. You can choose how many turtles there are, and you can choose how well they can see. When you run the simulation, they move between randomly determined locations, and when they arrive at their locations, they get a new goal. As they move, they increase the popularity of the patches they've walked on, which builds these paths in gray. And then later turtles will make a decision to walk on a path rather than walk on the bare green grass. And the idea is that you can give the turtles certain uh, vis visibility or give the paths certain popularity that makes it more likely that turtles will walk on the paths or less likely. In this simulation, you can also set up buildings by clicking and creates a little red dot. The turtles don't really care about one building, but once you set up a second building, all the turtles start moving back and forth between those, as you can see here. Now, you can set up as many buildings as you want. Sometimes it's hard to get the mouse to work. There we go. You can set up as many buildings as you want, but once you have buildings, the turtles don't go anywhere else except between those paths, or between those locations. For my purposes, this is a little unrealistic because people don't just go back and forth between grocery stores. They have other things that they do with their time. So I wanted to make sure that the turtles could do other things besides go back and forth from the buildings. So that's most of what I've done so far is to fix this problem. Let me open up the program that I created. I built it off of this base, but it is, um, it is slightly different, and let me show you how. So here's the window. Um, we can set up the simulation, and then I also um, put a version of the code alongside so that we can look at both of them at once. So some of the main differences are that turtles now don't just have a goal, they also have a house, which is a patch that they get at the beginning. It's just randomly assigned, but that turtle knows forever where its home is. And they also have income. I haven't really done too much with this yet, but I want it to be that some turtles might have a higher income than others, and they need to spend this money in order to make their purchases at the grocery stores or farm stands. And the patches own not just the popularity which determines the paths, but also a price and a number of sales. Most of the patches aren't going to ever use this price or sales feature, but the red dots are going to be the stores. And so they're going to keep track of how many sales they've made. And they're also going to have a specific price that they set for their produce. You can change the store price over here and the buildings that come on initially are going to have whatever price we've set, but you can change it so that if you want to make later stores, they can be higher priced or lower priced. The first thing I wanted to work on was getting the turtles to walk randomly around the screen, but also some of the time go toward the stores. So let me show you how that works. We've set it up, and now when they walk, the turtles are going to go to the building and see how their paths forming around that building because so much of the activity is related to it. But the turtles are also walking back and forth to random patches on the screen. Now I can set up a second building 
And the turtles will go to both of those, but they're not going to just go back and forth between the two buildings as they did in the paths simulation. This took a lot of work for me to figure out, but I've gotten it to a point where I'm pretty satisfied and I can move on to some of the other features in my simulation. So in order to make this happen, what I did was I adjusted the code for the move walkers function. The turtles, first of all, they gain a little bit of income every turn. And then I used a series of if else commands to give the turtles instructions on what to do. So first of all, it asks them, are you at your goal? If else patch here equals goal. So this means if the patch here is your goal, you do the first thing. And if not, you do the second thing. So if the patch is their goal, they're going to follow this set of instructions right here. If the patch is not their goal, they're simply going to walk towards their goal. And there's a whole separate set of instructions for how to walk, and it involves walking on the paths versus just walking across the grass. But the work that I've really done has been focused on what they do if they are at their goal. So one of the things that they have to do is if it's a store, they have to try and have a transaction at the store. So if the patch color is red, meaning this is one of the buildings, then it asks the turtles, is your income higher than the price at that store? And then if it is, then they make a transaction, they lose a little bit of money, and they get a new goal, which is just to go home with all their groceries. At the same time, if there's a transaction, it's going to ask the patch to increase its sales by one because it's made another sale. Now, that's if their income is greater than the price. They do all these three things right here. If the income is not greater than the price, then they do this command right here, which is a coin flip between going to one of the buildings or going to one of the patches. My thinking is that if the turtle goes to the store and can't afford to buy groceries there, then they will maybe go try and go to another store or they'll just go on one of their other errands, depending on how badly they need groceries or that kind of thing. So that's the same thing that happens if the patch is not red. So if the patch is red, they try and have a transaction. If they can't have a transaction, they just go somewhere else. And if they've reached their goal, but it's not a red patch, their goal was, for instance, to go back to their house or to go to a friend's house or something, then again, they just get a new goal. And the goal is either going to be one of the buildings or one of the other patches. And they only end up going home once they've completed a transaction. So this doesn't look all that complicated, but it did involve uh, a lot of work because I kept running into problems. One of the problems I had was that initially all of the turtles were going to their house and then just staying there. They weren't moving at all. Um, but I was able to fix that by making it so they only go home after they've purchased their groceries. And then once they arrive at that goal, they follow this command and they either go to a building or to another path. The next problem that I had was that they were stopping and just staying at the buildings. Um, and so the way that I corrected that was to make it so that they would either go to a building or they would go to another random patch with a coin flip. So I've gotten it so that the turtles now walk around in the way that I would like after getting over those couple of snags. At one point I got an error message that there was no building and so the turtles couldn't follow the commands that I'd set up. So for that reason, I included an extra feature, which is it starts with a building already on the, the landscape. You don't have to click and create a building in order for the turtles to have a building to go to. 
So in the code, that is all the way in the beginning. We ask one random patch to become a building. There was already a code in paths for what it means to become a building, but I just added this line to say, hey, one of the patches somewhere is going to be a building. And you see if I hit setup a couple times, right, now the building is down there. Now the building's over there. It's just choosing a random place to put the first building down. I already talked to you about how the transactions work, but let's run the simulation a little bit and I can show you um, by inspecting the building what's happening there. Oh, that's not the right patch. So this is the patch that has the building on it. And as we can see, a lot of turtles are coming and going from that patch. It has a sales price of $25 and it has made this many sales. And as the turtles are coming, they're continuing to purchase their goods. But some of the turtles actually can't afford to, so they walk away without buying anything. So let's take a look at a turtle who is about to go to the store, maybe this one. So his goal is this patch right here, 14 negative eight. That's the, that's the store. His goal is to go to the store. He's only got $23. So if we watch what happens, he probably will not be able to make a transaction. Did you see how his goal changed? He didn't have enough income yet to make a purchase, so he just got a goal of a different patch, and he's going to go there. In this case, he didn't end up going home because he didn't buy any groceries. He's just going to another random patch somewhere on the screen. If I had clicked and put down multiple buildings, his new goal might have been one of those other buildings. So we can keep watching this turtle as he walks around. Now he's got enough income to afford to make a purchase. And once he arrives at the goal, the patch that is his goal, he's now going to go back to the store. And once he gets there, he'll be able to afford to make a purchase. And he did. So we saw his income went back down and he got, us, he got assigned to the goal of going back to his house. So all of that is working at this point. The things that I still want to do with my program are uh, differentiate between stores and farm stands. I haven't built that into the code yet, but I've set it up so that it will be possible to do that. I'm thinking all of the stores will just be laid out initially, and then anything that the user creates by clicking will be the farm stands. I also want to create a little variation in the turtle income. As it is right now, if I show you the code here, uh, actually I'll pull up the real code. All of the turtles as they're walking around are just, their income is increasing by 0.1 every time. They start out with an income of one and then it just increases by a tenth every single step that they take. Right now, that's a good balance. It means sometimes they can afford to make a purchase and sometimes they can't. I may have to tweak it as I go along, but I'd like there to be a little bit of variation. So the turtles might get an extra feature of the rate that their income increases. And uh, I would use that to then have some of them gain money faster. Um, I also need to add output screens so that it shows you know, how many sales have taken place at the stores versus at the farm stands, and how many turtles at any given time are going to a store or are going home or something like that. Um, I'm also thinking it might be nice to have a feature where the stores close if they're not selling enough or the turtles die if they're not able to buy food anywhere within a certain amount of time. That is something I would pull from Sugarscape, um, but I have a lot of work left to do to really get this to the point that it demonstrates what I'd like. And that's all. Thanks for watching my presentation. Look forward to hearing about yours.